So here we have graphing a twice function problem type two, I believe. Um, and so then we want to graph this function. Now there's only two pieces here. They are x to one power, x to one power, so they will look like lines. Um, and so then we need to create tables to draw these lines. Now for the first function, um, y equal to negative two x plus three, notice the conditions to use that function. X has to be less than two. So we're going to start with two and then pick values that are less than two, like one and zero. Because this is a strictly less than and not less than or equal to two, when I draw this point, I am going to have to do an open circle to indicate that I'm going up to this particular point, but I'm not including that point on my graph, okay? For the second function, y equals x minus three, um, we're going to have a table there. And here the condition is, is x values that are greater than or equal to two. So two, three, and four. But because this is a greater than or equal to two, this two will have a solid up. okay? Now I could keep going and picking more values less than two and more values greater than two. But once we have this idea, we can just draw an arrow after this point and an arrow after that point, okay? So now I'm gonna plug these numbers into this equation in order to figure out the y values. So I get negative one, one, and three. Here I'm gonna plug this into this um, function or equation and I'm gonna get negative one, zero, and one. And so if I draw this on a graph, I get two and negative one with an open circle. Um, one and negative one, or no, one and positive one. And then zero and positive three. And so then I'm gonna use the arrow after that. So the line is going in that direction. Now over here, I'm going to draw um, two and negative one, but now I've got to make it solid. So it basically fills in the hole and then three and zero and then four and one. And so the line goes in this direction. And this is continuous. I would say yes, because there's no break in the graph. But let's say for instance, just for instance, you do draw a picture. Let me just make sure I don't have one. Oh, I guess I have problem type three. But if these two don't connect, okay, then the graph is gonna be not continuous. So pay special attention to that after you've graphed it, whether or not the two pieces connect or they don't connect. And sometimes they can So it goes, it goes, it goes, then there's nothing, and then it goes and goes and goes in the other direction, okay? So it's very important that you understand that if it's connected with a solid dot, it's good. If it's not connected, then it is not continuous. Sometimes you might have one piece of the graph here, and then another piece of the graph down there. Again, that is a situation where they're just like completely not connected, right, in any kind of way. So just look out for that as far as continuous or not continuous.